rare diseases represent a unique and complex challenge for human health. They often receive less attention because they affect a small percentage of the population. However, rare diseases carry profound implications for patients, healthcare systems, and research innovation. The prevalence of rare diseases varies in different geographical regions of the world, and their description has also been challenging. According to the U.S. National Organization for Rare Diseases, a disease affecting less than 2,000 Americans is known as a rare disease. Furthermore, according to an estimate by this organization, 13 million Americans suffer from rare diseases. The World Health Organization extrapolates the above definition and defines rare disease as a condition affecting a small number of people in any WHO region, which is one in 2000. The World Health Estimates also show that there are 5,500 rare diseases and 300 million individuals suffering from them worldwide. Obviously, the next question is, why do rare diseases need specialized attention? The most important concern about rare diseases is the sad outcome. 30% of children suffering from rare diseases die before the age of 5. 300 million people live with rare diseases worldwide. For almost 95% of these diseases, no treatment is available. Diagnosing a rare disease takes nearly four and a half years. 80% of rare diseases have genetic causes for which specialized treatment needs to be developed. You may want to know if there is any effort to develop better healthcare opportunities for people suffering from rare diseases. Here is some important information. The Global Network for Rare Diseases supports people living with real diseases worldwide through its efforts to create a global, person-centered care network and healthcare-oriented efforts for people living with rare diseases worldwide. This global network of rare diseases is working with the World Health Organization to devise strategies for providing better healthcare for rare disease patients worldwide. In December 2019, Rare Diseases International RDI, and the World Health Organization WHO, signed a Memorandum of Understanding demonstrating their commitment to work jointly in combating rare diseases. This partnership focuses on influencing global policies related to rare diseases, enhancing healthcare systems to manage these conditions better, and promoting the advancement of universal health coverage. Eurodis, Rare Diseases Europe is a non-governmental alliance led by patients. It comprises 1,000 organizations representing individuals affected by rare diseases across 74 countries. This organization received funding from the European Union's Health Programme 2021 to 2027, the AFM Teletonend, and corporate donors. Eurodis mission is to foster a robust pan-European network of patient groups and individuals living with rare conditions. Worth mentioning here is a few rare diseases like leishmaniasis caused by a protozoal parasite leishmania, Tay-Sachs disease due to hexosaminidase enzyme deficiency and hemophilia manifested as excessive hemorrhage due to factor 8 or 9 deficiency. Several challenges relevant to the management of rare diseases are developing precise and early diagnosis methodologies, providing state-of-the-art information in layman's language for the general population, providing specialized schooling opportunities for young people suffering from rare diseases, making treatment affordable and government responsible, integrating rare disease treatment into generalized healthcare, and several others. Biomed Global Thank you for watching this video. Let's we all pray that people suffering from rare diseases recover fast and enjoy a better quality of life.